Drug addiction is much more than an addiction. It is a disease. Addicts need more support slash assistance in order to make a change. Millions of people around the world battle this disease, and millions of people around the world can make a change. Drug addiction is a disease and is 100% treatable with the right amount of aid. So the quote, once you start, you can't stop, is irrelevant because it is absolutely possible to stop and make a change. Drug use is on the rise in this country. At 23.5 million Americans are addicted to alcohol and drugs. That's approximately one in every 10 Americans over the age of 12, roughly equal to the entire population of Texas. But only 11% of those with an addiction receive treatment, says www.drugfree.org. Although addicts do make the personal decision for the usage of the drug, whether it was from peer pressure or to escape, or even just to try it, they didn't choose to get addicted. And it's not their fault. Many people with the disease experience changes such as attitude change, appearance, personality change, etc. Addicts have a whole new perspective on things once being exposed to the drugs. Drug addiction is a chronic, often relapsing brain disease that causes compulsive drug seeking and use, despite harmful consequences to the drug and those around them. Drug addiction is a brain disease because the abuse of drug leads to changes in the structure and function of the brain, says www.wemd.com. Um, at the age of 10 years old, Darren Bonk was a straight-A student. He played many sports, he had many friends, and was overall a really good kid. Darren was 12 years old when he smoked his first cigarette. He was 13 when he smoked marijuana for the first time. By his freshman year, he was now failing, if not all, most of his classes. He quit basketball and football he had played since he was eight, and instead of spent his time with his new friends. By the time Darren was 15, he had already used heroin. By the time Darren was 16 years old, he had been kicked out of three different schools, going back and forth from alternative schools to regular schools for a variety of reasons, like starting fights, doing drugs at school, etc. He, had also, he also had multiple criminal records um, and was actually on house arrest, meaning he's not allowed to leave his driveway, for about six months. Darren had been in and out of juvie and pushed away anyone or anything that tried to help. Being his sister and living in the same home as him was hard because when I looked at him, I no longer saw my brother. I saw a monster. And there was nothing I could do about it. The smallest thing could set him off, and he would go on rampages. My stepmom had called the police on him multiple times, and it was a very scary situation to be in. I knew drugs were taking my brother away, but part of him was still there. Like, he knew what he was doing was wrong, but he did not stop. He couldn't. It was scary because, in a way, it was like I had lost my brother. I remember watching the police force him out of our house and into the police car, and I remember wondering when or if I would ever see my brother again. As the years passed, Darren still wanted no help. When Darren was about 17, he entered a rehab facility for the third time. He was there for about 30 days, then was an outpatient. Outpatient is the same thing as, re in, as being in rehab, but it's just being at your home. When Darren finally came home, it was a really good feeling because it was like everything was coming back together. Darren's grade got better, he spent more time with the family, and he started talking to some of his old friends again. Darren does still smoke cigarettes, but he plans to quit. I wanted to share my brother's story with you because I wanted you to realize how real drug addiction can be. To help support slash show awareness for the addicts, you need to let them know that you are there for them. If someone would have been there to help me and support me to help stop the addiction, I guarantee I would be a different person I, than I am today, says Darren. So speak out, help addicts, don't self-blame, encourage them to put an end to their addiction. There are thousands of programs and fundraisers to help addicts such as NIH, CRP, CR, CRC, etc. Overcoming addiction can be a long, challenging process, but with the right amount of treatment and support, everyone can stop. My brother is now seven months sober. When I see him, I can finally see my brother, not the monster. In conclusion, addicts need more support slash awareness to help overcome the disease and recover into a new, better lifestyle. So if you have a family, friend, or if you even know someone struggling with addiction, don't hesitate to help. Don't hesitate to help them get the right aid they need.